And now we're in our second video, episode two on YouTube. Hey, uh, Rizik. I had no idea you even messaged. I, I wonder how long ago that was. I'm sorry. Uh, we are about to start our next adventure or day. Okay, here we go. Day two. October 18th, 10 a.m., District Court number two. Uh, four, number four. Oh, it's Edgeworth again. Court is now in session for the trials of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very call, very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, yes sir, I'll explain the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, you see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that worked at the studio was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that is the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear it again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? No, we got, we got it now. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Your Honor, <sighs> this case is quite simple, if you ask one question, and that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call this security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? <laughs> My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Uh, your name, please? Oh, dearie, no need to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wow, her last name is actually Old Bag. Wendy Old, Old Bag, dearie. Oh my gosh. 
I saw something about chess. Objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Okay, here's our testimony. And I, of course, have to do it in voice. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyways, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then, huh? Very well, let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. White. Right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, here we go. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since this morning. I, well, I had some errands to run. Let's press this. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyways, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a seal samurai run through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. It was 1, 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate until 5. At 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there heading towards the studio. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. The secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. Objection. Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can see that's Powers, right? No, they can't. Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this courtroom is accusing you of that, Miss, uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that this person in the photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? 
Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, witness. Please make known all your information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyways, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props, it was a mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Hmm, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. I just lost my music. Okay. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. The murder weapon, a break in the shaft, has been mended with duct tape. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. You can see him dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Well, Nick, find any glaring contradictions? In the photo, I guess I'll just have to press her to see if I can shake her conviction. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes. And to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. But let's just skip over that part, shall we? There was the assistant then. Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue to your testimony. That's the spear. Was Mr. Powers' ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus, the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. I think we've heard enough, haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there's one thing bothering me, which is... Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Uh, huh? Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm... Anyways, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're on? Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? 
No need to ask twice. Oh my gosh. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. True. The only person I saw go to the studio before them was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. The time of poor was 12.30, true? 2.30, sorry. I saw 12. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. Old windbag sure has balls, or, well, you know what I mean. Old windbag, old windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or, for that ma matter, forgetting oh. them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? How do you know that? Eh, didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective, and then, after some rubbish about being called a secret pal, he told me everything. Shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody's suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking. Right. Okay, so we press this information. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy. Ugh. Old Wimbeg sure has... Was 2.30. Well, Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. I must be missing something. I pressed all the lines. No one else went there. Okay, so we're going to save because the only thing I have left now is to present stuff. The 
before then was willpower. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, it's sunny. So whenever someone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from the hole in the ground. Right, anyways. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo is printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., photo 2. Even I know what that means. It was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit that set is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo one if it's really the only photo? Order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. And yet the only data for one there's only and yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the other the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Eh, you watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Huh? But believe me, I want to. But I don't know what this means either. Hmm. Some help you are, you whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Er, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. Ah, <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. The other person. Every day after I finished my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. Go through the photos recorded on the security uh, on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I only just remembered it. Right. Anyways, Mr. Wright, please begin your cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Okay. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one important after. Another job. That's right, I check all the people that pass by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Oldbag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicion-looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Throwing out one photo that day. But 
the erased photo. I go through the photos. Throw out ones that aren't suspicious looking. One photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh, gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a sec. Didn't you say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. I knew that one was suspicious. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids So, on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studio that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about the second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see these types there every day. Can't stop them, can't catch them. A boy in second or third grade, hmm? I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That'd make him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. October 18th, 11 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Powers? Y yes Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should really take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right, and it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Okay. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Powers. Mr. Edgeworth will now present the prosecution's thought on this matter. The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may, may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts. The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claims. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let's hear, let us hear who you have in mind, however. 
Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great, as if the stakes weren't high enough. Who was the person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the... I'm gonna save. The assistant girl. It was the assistant. The steel samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it and in doing so became the steel samurai. So you're saying the steel samurai in the picture was really the assistant. That's correct, your honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the seal a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Bad feeling time. Okay, we're gonna quickly jump back. The security lady. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. <laughs> Who? The steel samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through? There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. But why? Whippersnapper. Order, order. I is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? It's Miss Old Bag. <laughs> to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume, then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pronounces... Doesn't he usually jump up with objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Wh what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move now? Now's my chance to take this the whole way. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag has one of the... S now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Just wait. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one whose photo I erased. He's only a great schooler though. As you said, second or third grade, was it? Th that doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so, sir? Oh, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. P proof Indeed. Then let's see the proof, Mr. Wright. 
Do you have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? It would be... Oh no, I can't... Your Honor, the murder weapon has was the samurai spear. The very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness. Miss Windy. What's her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. When the prosecution then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Wait a second. I'm not going to sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me, I'm talking. Oh great, stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh, you mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. Oh my gosh. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're going to accuse me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to keep my mouth, my trap, shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this is a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Global Studios. Who were these people? The director and the producers, for starter. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scenes without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one ta asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? There was a- there was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate, and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? They say they had nothing to do with it, see? So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it to... They beat it before the cops came. I'll kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth, almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Them? Who were these people? Well, the director and producers, for starters. The director. Okay, so there's... There were multiple points where I could have inquired that question.
Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. October 18th, 1.04 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Really, it's nothing. <laughs> or should I say, we'll be going down to the studios to do more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial at witnesses for certain, so now's my chance to get material for cross-examination. So Nick, we have to figure out just who was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been Windy, old Windy Bag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusations. Okay, let's go down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and that's the end of episode two here. Now we're gonna 